Uh, we have three goals going into spring, really pretty simple. Our number one goal is that our players have a great understanding of the base offense and defense. And, uh, you know, we're going to be very simple like we've been in the past. We just want to make sure that the players know the proper techniques, assignments, alignments, and everything that goes with that. So once we get done with spring and get in the summer, they can actually improve. Uh, our second goal is to identify the strengths in all three phases. And so after spring ball, we'll identify those things and we'll get a plan to build around our strengths uh, as far as fall goes with that. And then the, the last goal is just really simple, each player improve. At the end of spring, I'm going to get with each position coach and ask them about each one of their guys. Did they improve from day one to day 15? So that's really the, the goals as far as that goes. A few player updates. Um, Dion Mix uh, is graduating. He is uh, going to be a fifth-year transfer somewhere. Cameron Tony is also graduating. He doesn't know if he's going to do that uh, avenue or not. But I would say this about both those young men. They were uh, part of my first signing class as head coach. Uh, they're wonderful young men. They've done a great job their time here at Auburn. they got great families, and they're going to be very successful in life, and, and we'll miss mo mo both those guys. Markel Boston's no longer with our team. Um, Darius Slayton had hernia surgery. Uh, he will be uh, back after spring break uh, for spring practice. Kyle Davis is uh, taking care of some personal business. We expect him back uh, by spring break uh, with the team. Uh, Sean White is still recovering um, you know, from his broken arm. K.J. Britt will also be out for spring. He had a procedure done uh, on his leg. Broderius Ham and Tayshawn Manning have both been cleared to participate in spring practice. I'm excited to get both those guys out there. They will be limited, um, and we'll just kind of see how things go uh, with that. We've also hired two new GAs. Um, Cole Weeks will be working with our, with our offense. Charles Moore will be working with our defense. We also hired a new analyst in Brian Blackman. Very excited about Brian. I think he'll be an excellent um, college coach and uh, excited with him. But overall, uh, you know, I know Chip is excited to get out there with his offensive players. They've, uh, you know, to sh show what they can do. And I know Kevin is, is excited to get out there with the defensive guys. They have a year under their belt with his system, so I know they're a lot farther ahead. And uh, just really excited that we're going to get out there and. And I have day one today. Questions? You expect Sean to be out for the gracious hey, We're, we're going to see. He's, he's done a few things with the trainers, and uh, he's tried to throw some things, but we're going to make sure we're smart. The thing about Sean is uh, we have a lot of information, um, you know, about him, and he's a veteran guy, and uh, so we're going to make sure he's healthy before we get rolling. Now, he'll, he'll stay the, right there with Chip, and he'll make sure that he doesn't miss anything. And, uh, you know, he'll be in all the meetings and all that. How are you playing to handle the quarterbacks? And yeah, you know, starting out, there's five quarterbacks, um, you know, and, and that's going to be uh, the challenge, you know, early on to make sure to give all those guys reps so Chip can properly evaluate those guys. I know today we've got, uh, you know, 20 minutes of seven on seven, and we've got 10 minutes of one on one. That'll be the first two days, really. So, It'll give him a good chance to evaluate those guys. Obviously, you can't go through spring with five quarterbacks. You've got to narrow things down. And I know that'll be part of his plan. Uh, but starting out, uh, a lot of those guys will get an opportunity, and, uh, which I think is a good thing. I mean, um, so I know he's excited to work with all the guys. Yeah, well, I think he's like everybody else. I mean, um, you know, to, to improve, um, to get a good understanding uh, of the of the offense, uh, to evaluate him. Um, but that goes for everybody out there, you know. So he just happens to be, you know, a new quarterback. But uh, you know, all, all the guys we want to, you know, see what they can do and evaluate them and and get a good understanding of of the offense or the defense. Will John be exclusively? He's going to start out at quarterback, and uh, he'll get reps uh, today and tomorrow at quarterback along with the other four guys. And then Sean will just kind of be watching and making sure that he doesn't get behind with everything. So, And Chip, uh, you know, in, in time, uh, he'll narrow it down. Uh, he doesn't really have a timetable right now, but 
Obviously, he knows that you can't go through spring with five quarterbacks. So in, in the time that he feels uh, comfortable and confident, that's when he'll narrow things down. So John could change positions then? Uh, you know, John's open to helping the team whatever. But we just felt strong that, uh, that he start out and try to win the job at quarterback. So that's what we'll do. Because Sean's out, does, does that mean you guys will want to give him a fair chance to keep that starting job and wait until you guys get to August to be able to have a healthy Sean? You, you know, obviously we want to make sure that all positions, we put the best player out there. So there's no, like, timetable as far as naming really any position or quarterback. But, you know, we are sensitive to the fact that uh, Sean's going to have a hard time going through spring. So. We'll, uh, we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge, you know, when we get there. Is that possible? You think you could name a starting quarterback at the end of the spring? Uh, you know, I, I, I doubt that. I doubt that very seriously. Um, but at the same time, I'll, uh, you know, Chip will, will have a recommendation and we'll go from there. Coach, what are you going to do at right tackle and left guard if those goes in? Yeah, uh, we're going to kind of go into the thing. Uh, first of all, Braden Smith's going to get some work at tackle. All right, that's probably where it needs to start. Right and, tackle, yeah, uh, it, right tackle today. He'll be out there at right tackle. I mean, the the great thing about Braden is he's a veteran guy. He can play anywhere, but he'll start out at right tackle. I know Mike Horton obviously uh, played uh, right guard. Markel Harrell will play left guard. Of course, we got Tyler Carr that can play either guard also. Uh, Darius James. You know, obviously, uh, uh, returning starter at left tackle, and I think he's in a good spot. He's had a very good off season, got his body uh, really looking good. And Prince Tegan, Prince Salmon's obviously, um, you know, at tackle. And so, you know, we got a lot of different options. I know Coach Hand is is going to look at a lot of different things, especially the first two weeks. You know, before we get to spring break. Um, and then we'll kind of start narrowing things down. And, but at the same time, you know, we're wanting guys to compete. Is Austin going to remain at center? Yes. You mentioned uh, some leaders for stepping up. Obviously, <clears throat> anybody you can mention. And also, Markel Boston. He looked like he's a guy who could contribute. Anything particular why he left? Uh, really, uh, you know, it was, it was me. Uh, he didn't meet our standards. So he's no longer with us because of that. Um, your question as far as leaders um, are concerned, you know, Trey Matthews is one of our team leaders. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that really uh, has emerged. Chandler Cox is one of our team leaders that really has uh, emerged. You know, not just – and I always look at team leaders. They're not just on their side of the ball, but have the ability to influence the whole team. Daniel Carlson's also one of those guys that uh, – you know, I know that's unusual for a kicker to be a team leader, but he's not your average kicker, and I think everybody in this room already knows that. Um, but I really feel good about where we're at going to spring. Once you get to spring and you put the pads on specifically, usually a couple other guys could step up from a team leader standpoint too, and it doesn't always have to be an older guy. You know, um, sometimes it's younger guys, and we've got some – some younger guys that have performed very well on the field that um, you know have the ability to kind of take that next step. Can you talk about your playing? Yeah, uh, you know, punting obviously Ian Shannon's you know got a chance to uh, to win that job, and uh, I think he's in a really good spot mentally. Uh, he got a chance really to set back last year and uh, you know gain experience. He got a couple reps, um, so. That'll be a that'll be a big big factor that if he can wrap that job up in the spring and you know Coach Horton's another guy that you know of course I'm excited that that uh, for him I think he's going to do a great job with our special teams obviously he's been here for four years and been a big part of the special teams and you know I think he'll do an excellent job you know leading that group. As far as you and Chip go, I mean, did you guys have a summit at some point and say? Hey, here's what I want to do. Here's the things you want to do. Well, you know, we, we kind of talked about that even before he was hired. You know, he's very familiar with what uh, we've been successful with. And, you know, he's just going to add some uh, some bells and whistles and some flair uh, to what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I really expect, uh, you know, our offense to start taking on his personality. But at the same time, you know, he knows we have to run the football effectively. Um, so we're going to keep what we've done very well, and he's going to add to it. And then, like I said, the passing game is really, you know, he's a quarterback developer. Um, 
you know, our goal is to be more balanced, and we needed that, uh, you know, really the last two years. And so we'll work very hard in the spring, um, you know, to, to do that. So you're saying the biggest change that we'll notice will be in the passing game probably? Well, I mean, that's that's the plan, um, you know. So we we got to be more balanced, and, um, you know, we're going to do that. And we got – you know, the great thing is we're in a good spot to do that with uh, the fact that we got young receivers. Uh, you know, most of the receivers that played last year were freshmen or redshirt freshmen. They got a year under their belt. So we're really just hoping to take that next step in the spring uh, in the passing game. You know, we've had one of the better running back running games in our league. Um, and, and obviously we want to keep keep our strengths. Gus, where are you at the tight end position with Larry Porter having never coached? Mm -hmm. He's been a running back's coach his entire yeah. career. Yeah, well, and, and and I'll say this: Chip has a lot of experience emphasizing that position too, throwing to tight ends and and all that. And uh, you know, Larry's a guy that he's a football coach, and uh, you know, he can coach any position. He's going to do a great job with uh, with that group. And uh, you know, he's also in charge of our H backs. So uh, I'm really looking forward to watching that uh, position develop uh, during the spring. And uh, so we got a good plan to get those guys more involved. Well, the good thing is we got quite a bit of depth. You know, you look at last year at this time, um, we didn't have a whole lot of um, wide receiver bodies because uh, most of the guys that played were, fr were true freshmen coming in. But uh, we do have more depth. Um, we also have the ability to, to use our tight ends a little bit split out. I know Chip is planning on doing that. so. We feel real good about uh, our receiver depth, and I uh, think we got plenty of them um, to develop in the spring. You got three uh, defensive backs coming off injury: Javon Myers, Jeremiah Denson, and Javale Dean. Yeah, uh, Denson's been cleared. Uh, Javon will not go through spring, and, and Dean will not go through spring. Um, but you know, Denson's a guy that uh, I'm excited about. I mean, he uh, obviously went through a very tough injury. You know, everybody saw that. He is an outstanding young man. He's a, he's a tough guy. Uh, he's one of those savvy guys, you know, as a true freshman. He played, and he played well. And so I'm very excited to watch him this spring, and uh, I'm just glad he's back out there, you know, in the middle of everything. Uh, it, it'll be after spring. You know, really most of these guys we feel like will be ready to go full speed by summer workout. Um, so that's, that's the plan. And Paul James. Yeah, Paul James will. John Tavius will be out for the spring also. Um, and uh, we expect him to be ready to go in June. But uh, but excited uh, to watch Paul and uh, let him do his thing. You mentioned Kyle earlier. Is it like kind of a day-to-day -day thing, or is he out for the spring, Kyle Davis? Well, I, it, it, he should be back here in the next week or two. But he's part of the team. He's taking care of some personal business. What's that? Stephen Davis Jr. is no longer with us. How much um, do you kind of want to temper expectations a little bit on Jarrett? Because he is, maybe it's not totally new to him, but he's still got to learn the offense and everything. H who's that? Jarrett Stidham, just, just early in the spring, kind of bring him along slowly? Or has he got enough experience? You know, I mean, Chip's going to throw him in there. I mean, he's going to throw all five of them in there. And uh, like I said, we've got enough things early, especially the first two days, to be able to evaluate him. So he gets a chance to evaluate him, throwing the football, making reads, communicating, and all that. And uh, so I'd say it's probably a little bit more accelerated pace to evaluate the quarterbacks. So, uh, you know, the goal is after this first week that, you know, Chip's got a good idea, at least of their talent and where they're at, um, you know, from experience or a mental standpoint. Um, so he can make some decisions and start repping just a handful of guys instead of five. So that's that's by design. But at the same time, I mean, you know, he's coming this thing new, and he, he wants to give everybody a chance to compete, to win jobs. Um, and so that's 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 his approach. With, with the changes on the coaching staff, is Scott Thomas going to have an off-field role? Or... Yeah. Uh, uh, Coach Fountain right now is, is looking for an on-field job somewhere, and if he doesn't, he's going to get an analyst job. He'll be with an analyst role with us. So that's his uh, – that's where he's at. Woody Barrett been adjusting in year two? Well, Woody's uh, – you can see his, his body starting to develop. Um, 
you know, he had a good off season up to this point. I know he's excited. You know, anytime you are a highly recruited guy and you redshirt, you know, it takes a little bit to get back in the flow, but, you know, he knows he's competing now and you can see a difference in him. And uh, he did a good job specifically in bowl uh, prep when we scrimmaged and all that. So I know he's excited. He's worked really hard up this point. And I know Chip's ready to, to see what he can do too. You mentioned Brian Blackman earlier as an analyst. How many mm -hmm. analysts do you have and how many do you expect you to have going into the year? Uh, we, we, right now, of course, like I said, I'm waiting on Scott. Uh, we do have one uh, more analyst position open. I don't know when I'm going to fill it. And I don't know if I'm going to fill it, but uh, you know, we feel good about the guys we got. How many would that be total? Two guys. What's that? You got Brian. You might have Fountain. Yeah, yeah. Over. We've had two on each side of the ball, and then we've had one special team. So we've had a total of five. Okay. Nice. You've had, you've had a couple of departures there, Gus and Jeff and Rob. Are obviously, guys who are really close to you. And Coach Brewer just, just shed light into where they are now. Really yeah, uh, Rob is uh, the athletic director at Cabot High School in Arkansas. That's where he's from. Uh, really good job. Uh, Johnny's with Rhett up in Connecticut. Uh, very excited for him. And Jeff is trying to get uh, NFL, which has kind of been one of his goals, uh, you know, for a long time. All three of those guys were excellent workers. Um, you know, they're very smart football coaches and, and very good people and really appreciate, you know, their time with us. At the beginning of their press conference, not to sound weird with this, but you sound more like a head coach. You're saying, I'm going to get with every position coach, see how they evaluate everybody, give a chip, evaluate this and that. How is your approach changing going into your fifth spring here? Because um, it certainly sounds like mm -hmm. you, you've taken a different approach a little bit. Yeah, uh, of course, you know, like I said before, I mean, I've got a lot of confidence in, in Chip. Um, obviously, got a lot of confidence in Kevin. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to, to being the head coach and uh, you know I think we're in a good spot staff wise I think we're in a good spot player wise and so really just looking forward to, to getting out there in the spring and <laughs> watching everybody do their job. Did, you, did the staff or anybody visit with uh, other coaching staffs during the offseason to trade ideas and look around? Yeah it, usually it's by group by an offense or a defense or a special team sometimes it's by position coach and but um, you know just always trying to to better, you know, better yourself. Or some of the staffs. I'm not telling. Did anybody, did anybody, about did anybody come here? Hmm? Did anybody come here to kind of like pick your brain? Uh, you, you know, every night, and I've said this kind of before, you know, um, I've got my own little group that a lot of times that we share ideas with and all that. But, you know, I'll leave that up to Kevin and uh, leave that up to Chip. Um, and. Uh, you know, leave, leave that up to Tim. If they would like to visit with certain staff, you know, I'm open to that. But, uh, and, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you when that happens. So. Who's in the circle of trust then? You said you got your little nah, I don't want to tell you Let's that either. Let's talk about this on the record. Well, I, you, I think you already know probably, don't yeah. you? I mean. You guys saw that the, it looked like the green jerseys for the strength and conditioning program were back. I guess mm -hmm. it's the first time since 2013. So no, you, we, we've done that every year, but I don't think they've always – filmed everything, you know, as far as that. So that may just be the marketing department. But we've continued to go uh, the green jerseys, you know, as far as that goes. Give a little talking to after this one. What's that? <laughs> we'll take a few more. Yeah, it's starting to get go down the, yeah. yeah it's starting to go down. Simulate the wind. Defensively, any position change you're looking at this spring? You know, um, I think everything is uh, pretty much intact. Uh, the, what you would expect. I do know there's some be some young guys that they'll probably mix and match, maybe corner with safety or something like that. But the older guys are, are pretty much set. And of course, that's a great thing. You know, with we got a defense coming back that has a lot of guys back, a lot of experience that were very successful. And you know, just building upon that. And in our league, there's nothing like experience, especially quality experience has been successful and. You know, when you look at our team, the thing that, that I'm excited about is we got a lot of experience back, uh, really in all three phases. And we've got, um, you know, some, some successful experience too. So that's, that's what, ex that's what exciting, you know, to me. Is Byron Cowrick moving inside? And so kind of what went into that? Yeah, uh, of course he did a little both. You know, he's a guy that I, I really think uh, is looking forward to spring. You know, he's got a, he's got a little different mindset than he's had before. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to watching him 
um, you know, progress through spring. Gus, one. Gus Devon, going to be welcome back for uh, I'm I'm not going to talk about any player that's no longer with us. I'll just talk about the players that are with us. I want to ask about Braden Smith. Uh, he's worked the right tackle before. Uh, I think in that last line, he's out there on the edge, if I'm not mistaken. How, how do you think he'll fit in at right tackle? Yeah, well, Braden has played tackle some, uh, you know, in his career, and you know, I think, uh, you know, obviously he's one of the best linemen I think overall in our league, and just uh, how versatile he is. Uh, will we'll help our team and also help him at the next level too.